Good morning, everyone, and thank you very much for attending the Veterans Day program of 2021. We are honored to have you here today, and we are honored to have the opportunity to thank our veterans on such a special occasion. If everyone that is able would please rise for the advancement of the colors. Following the advancement of the colors, we will go directly into the Star Spangled Banner, and then I will introduce two students who will lead us through the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Please face the flag for the Star Spangled Banner.
you, Mr. Singer, and the Unity High School Concert Choir. Introducing our speaker today, please welcome senior student, Hallie Jo Nelson. So our keynote speaker today is someone that may look a little familiar to some of you, although not maybe in this context. He has attended Unity sporting events, band and choir concerts, plays and assemblies all over the years. Our guest speaker has been in the military for 23 years. His military career has been in not just one, but two branches of service. At 18, he joined the United States Marine Corps. He was an active duty Marine stationed in Miramar and San Diego before transferring to the United States Army where he is still currently serving. In his 20 plus years, he has traveled all over the globe. In 2005, he served in Iraq war, from what I hear, almost missed the birth of his own daughter. I can personally attest to many a times, he's been away from home, missed family birthdays, holidays, or events to do his job as a member of the United States Armed Forces. I am very pleased and even more proud to introduce to our keynote speaker, my dad, Sergeant First Class Anthony Nelson. Tell my thunder. I'm just going to do a little intro here. Uh, I'll leave this off too. Also, I'm obviously not a professional speaker, so bear with me. Um, hopefully, some of this will speak to some of you. Okay. A little bit about myself. I'm sorry, first class Anthony Nelson, as she's so uh, poignantly put. Um, I have three daughters here. You might know them: Piper, Allie, and Brian. Um, I'm married to Miss Nelson up there in, in the crowd. We've been married for about 20 years. Uh, I did join the Marine Corps uh, right out of high school. I tried the college thing, um, didn't, really, didn't really sit with me very well. So I uh, joined the Marine Corps, served about six years in aviation in the Marine Corps. I uh, got married in the meantime. We decided we wanted to move home. I was stationed in California. Moved home, joined the Army Reserve. Of course, to, we got in the reserves to avoid deployment so much. And of course, what happens right after I joined the Army Reserve, I deployed to Iraq. Um, yes, I did almost miss the birth of my second daughter while I was over there, but thankfully we were able to work it out. I got back, long story short, been in the reserve for a long time, mechanic by trade. Uh, the last few years I'm doing instructing actually, which has been pretty awesome. Uh, it's nice to get back to some of these younger individuals coming up, kind of show them the ropes. I, I tell you that not to toot my own horn or anything, just to kind of give you a reference of where I'm coming from and where my experiences are in relation to veterans. Day. I'm some total I've been to 14 different countries. None of them even compare to America. They honestly don't. Whatever one you want to pick that you think is awesome and looks great over in Europe or something, it's not the same. If anyone's ever been overseas, they can probably attest to the same thing. When I volunteered to do this, I spent a lot of time thinking about Veterans Day and what does it mean to thank veterans, right? I mean, the easiest thing is to shake, shake their hand, hey, thanks for your service, right? But what does that really mean, right? Or is that just something a, a person goes through? You know, as a society, we do that just to say, hey, thanks, you know. But does it actually do mean it, right? Um, personally, I, when I thought about it and kind of came to a conclusion, I, I, I would rather have, while the veterans are doing what they're doing to protect the country and protect these freedoms we hold, I'd rather have the citizens of America actuate their freedom better, if that makes sense. Meaning, I'd, I'd rather have you see your do your civic duties and responsibilities a little better. Then I got to thinking about what does that mean, right? What does it mean to be a free American? What, does that, what do those duties and responsibilities include? Well, in America, we have the freedom to pretty much do whatever we want, right? But it, as most people can attest to, that means you also have a duty, right? And a responsibility. Complete freedom is anarchy, right? So what are those duties and responsibilities? Well, the three I came up with that spoke most to me were being kind to one another, being prideful in, your, in different things, and most importantly, and it's right in the name of it, personal responsibility, something that's sorely lacking in this country, and it's, I think, 
in my, again, this is my personal opinion, but it's one of the cornerstones of America is having personal responsibility. Being kind, so what does that mean? It means being respectful of other people. It's the main part of it. That means helping without being asked, right? Being kind to people. Opening doors for people. Um, carrying something heavy for someone that looks like they're struggling. Um, when you're speaking to when you're speaking to individuals and you have a choice, right? Choosing something kind to say rather than something mean to say, some, something down, bringing them down, or just don't speak at all, right? That can be hard being kind. Even when someone totally screws up, just don't say anything at all, right? So what is we, what is gained when when we be kind to each other, right? We practice empathy. You know, putting yourself in their shoes. It will, generally, it will bring down the attitude of everyone involved. We'll be less angry, less, more apt to work with each other. We're happy to see each other. Overall, better outcomes for any situation or contact you have with other people. Second responsibility, pride. Okay, so now this might sound kind of counterintuitive, right? Too much pride can be a problem. But pride can also be a good thing. Pride in your workmanship. Pride in your appearance. Pride in your group or school you belong to. Again, you can't let this get out of hand, right? Too much pride is one thing, but a good amount of pride is good. Your family, uh, back, back, back growing up, I know when I grew up, sorry about that, um, a name meant something, right? Someone walked up to you in a town and they said, oh, that's the Nelson boy. They could already assume a few things about you. Same still holds true today if you like to avoid it, right? Any town, you can pick up any small town around here. Oh, you're from there? Haha, <laughs> yeah, we know about them, right? That goes back to your pride. If you show pride in your group, unity is a good example, right? If you show pride in unity, others will, will become, become knowledgeable about that, right? They'll say, oh, unity, those are the kids that are super nice and kind to each other, right? They're kind to even their, their sporting people they play against, to other individuals they come in contact with. Pride helps build camaraderie, helps unify a group of people, right? So we make, and it's one of those, again, this is why one of this is the cornerstones of America. We all come from different backgrounds, different places. Unique in the whole entire world is America, for that fact. There is no Americans, per se, right? We all came here in different ways, whether it be over a land bridge 100,000 years ago, or on a ship sometime, or even on a plane just recently. But if we stick to these ideals and we have a little pride in being an American, that will unify us much more so than spread us apart. Last but not least, the most important is personal responsibility. Like I said, it's right in the name of it, right? You can't grow or fix any kind of problem without having personal responsibility. What do I mean by personal responsibility, right? The main thing is it's not always someone else's fault, right? We have a problem with that inside this country right now. Or it's always someone else's fault, no matter what. No matter what happens, it's always someone else's fault. No one takes responsibility for that. How do you fix it if no one can take responsibility for it? Personal responsibility is showing up on time. Doing what you're supposed to do while you're there. Doing the right things even when people aren't looking. And it also harkens back to pride, right? They kind of can key off each other. Sometimes you have to take responsibility for things even when it's not completely your fault. But did you have a part in it? Well, then you should take responsibility for that. Because how are you going to learn if you don't? Without personal responsibility, the rest of these and most of the things that America are built on are kind of, they're not, they won't hold up over time, right? How can you have free speech when you want to take responsibility for what you just said? How can you own a gun if you can't take responsibility for when you shoot it, right? So that's why it's a very, very important thing to have personal responsibility. In closing, how can we thank veterans? Again, that was the key idea I came up with. How can we better thank veterans than just a handshake and a free copy here and there? Live up to the ideals that make America the best place in the whole world. Specifically, we talked about kindness, pride, and personal responsibility, but there's many more in there. But they are, really, those are the cornerstones. By doing this, you can make most veterans, myself included, much happier than a handshake or a free meal. Although it will probably be begrudgingly accepted. So again, thank you for having me here. Hopefully you got something out of the speech. 
Happy Veterans Day. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you, Sergeant First Class Anthony Nelson. At this time, I'd like to invite up the Elementary Student Council. Veterans, thank you for joining us today for this very special occasion. Veterans, we greatly appreciate your service. Here is a poem written by Michaela Jepson. Land of the free, home of the brave, thank you veterans for all you've saved. We are proud to have you fighting for our country. Thank you for serving our country. Hear the poem written by Lila Sandra. Thank you for keeping our country safe. Sacrifices are made. The ones that serve continue to be brave. We have made some special gift bags for you to show, your, to show our appreciation. Please take one with our gratitude on your way out of the presentation. At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Alex Bates, who will be directing our Unity High School concert band and the playing of Amber Waves of Grain by Joel Cerna.
Thank you, Mr. Bates and the Unity High School Concert Band. If everyone would please rise now for the retirement of the colors. Thank you everyone for attending today's Veterans Day program. Thank you veterans for your service. It's an, been an honor to be here today. Thank you everyone and have a great day. Thank you for coming today.